<laughs> I just took my eye out. Wow. I look absolutely disgusting. Hello everyone, it is Bricksimus Prime back for another Marvel Legends action figure review. And today we're going to be looking at the Marvel Legends Deluxe Thor Ragnarok figure. Now, I'm not saying Thor Ragnarok as in the movie, I mean Ragnarok as in the character. And now taking a look at the packaging here, right back there it has the Thor's Hammer logo, it has Marvel's Thor, Marvel's Ragnarok. Got some image here of, of Ragnarok, even though it looks just like Thor. And same thing right there, it's got the, the Hammer logo again here on the back. It's got a little backstory, which is much needed for those who have no idea what this even is. Using a lock of the missing Thor's hair, Tony Stark creates a cybernetic doppelganger of the Thunder God called Ragnarok. This would prove disastrous when the cyborg betrayed the mighty Avengers. Anywho, that's it for the packaging. And now getting into the accessories included with this figure. The figure here does come with some head sculpts here. And honestly, this first head sculpt here I think is boring. It's a boring head sculpt. It's literally just Thor with red eyes. Now, I understand this is the classic look for Ragnarok. It's just Thor with the red eyes, because again, it's a robot and it turns out to be evil. But honestly, the red eyes just make it look like he's high on something. So honestly, I don't even use this head sculpt. However, this head sculpt they included, I really love this to me is my personal Ragnarok, when he's actually been damaged and he's while he's fighting the Avengers and he has this very Terminator, Arnold Schwarzenegger T-800 Terminator robot look right here with the missing half of his face and the teeth and ugh, I'll be back. He's just missing some sunglasses. I don't really like just this graspy hand, even though it does look nice. I prefer this robotic one, which looks so detailed with this black wash going over it. I love how this looks. And I do like, I do appreciate the idea that this is meant to look like as if the, the fake flesh on this just melted off and now you can see the robotic part underneath. But still, I prefer this hand. And then finally, he comes with that retro Thor hammer right here, which you can read the words on it. Whosoever holds this hammer, if he be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. I love the spinning Mjolnir idea. I like the idea of this thing. And it's just got the multiple Mjolnirs so that when you spin it, it gives the illusion that the hammer is just spinning really, really fast. But really, it's just this. It's just this, but it's meant to look like as if it's just one of these spinning multiple times. And again, it does spin pretty well. And I'll actually just be sitting in my review station just messing around with this for like a full hour. Let's, um, let's move on. This thing just looks really, really good on camera. Like, when you look at it in person, it just looks like a spinning thing, but on camera, it really catches every single, like, frame rate of the actual hammer spinning, so it really emphasizes the whole feature of it. I, I really like it. Again, I mentioned the head sculpt. It looks awesome. I love how it looks. I love the ripped up face. I, I really like it. Sadly, though, the rest of the figure is quite boring. The figure looks like an amazing Thor figure. It's got the, the little disc bits. It's got the T on the belt. It's got the nice muscly detail. It's got, the, it's got the cuffs, the nice blue legs. I love the straps here on the boots. Those look nice. And the cape is always a lovely touch, especially with Thor's hair and the wings on the helmet. But that is all good for Thor. This is not a Thor figure. I bought this as a figure of Ragnarok. I really feel like this figure is very underwhelming. Again, don't get me wrong, posability and everything is really good on this. I just wish that it looked more like Ragnarok and less like Thor. Like, the only bits of robot he has that signify he's not Thor is this hand and the face. I would have liked if they maybe had like a piece of his chest missing, you could see like his power core in there, or maybe some of his bicep and shoulder are missing, or something on his leg, and maybe even one of his feet. One of his like feet missing or something, like, I just wish this guy looked a lot more like a Ragnarok figure and not Thor. I, if, if I wanted a Thor, just go buy Thor, don't buy this to have a th already Thor looking figure, just buy Thor.
So anyway, going over the articulation on this guy, head can't really look up all that far, can't really look down all that far. Can't really swivel from side to side all that much and not really any head pivoting. Why is this joint even here if it barely does anything? Would have loved if they added a hinge joint in the hair to really make it move, but no. Shoulders can rotate a full 360. Cape is a pliable material, so it can move out of the way for that kind of stuff. Shoulders can rotate outward all that far. I think there's a butterfly joint in there, but it's so limited that it doesn't even matter. Butter bicep swivel, double jointed pinned elbows. The, this wrist rotates and hinges up and down along with the flesh one. This, this wrist hin does this horizontal hinging right there for holding the hammer. He, the abdomen joint here does have an arching back and a crunch, little bit of diaphragm pivot. It can swivel slightly, but thankfully this guy does have a waist swivel proper. Hips can kick forward. They can't really kick back. They can move outward that far. He does get a thigh swivel, double jointed knees. And then the, he does have a calf swivel, which is very well hidden. The seam mark for the joint is actually very well hidden here in the calf straps right there. Ankle can move up that far, can move down, and he does get ankle pivot. Again, amazing articulation and detail on this figure. He just looks way too much like Thor. Would have just loved much more mechanical detail on this guy, but no, feels like they kind of cheaped out on him just a little bit. And for comparisons, here is Ragnarok compared next to the last Marvel Legends figures I took a look at, the, the, game, the Gamerverse, Mr. Negative, and Inner Demon. I was not in anticipating Ragnarok to be this big. He's actually a lot bigger than I thought he was. Definitely makes him feel a little bit more worth that deluxe price point, but again, I still bought him for clearance. Here's, here's Ragnarok compared next to another retro-styled robot character I also took a look at, the Ursa Major Build-A-Figure Waves Ultron. And then here he is with my last Marvel Legends Deluxe figure that I took a look at, the Marvel Legends comic book Thanos. Again, the Thanos may be chunkier than this figure, but this figure also has the height as well as the amount more accessories than the Thanos did, so they kind of balance out pretty well. But again, I was willing to pay full price for the Thanos than I was for the Ragnarok, just to emphasize that. And that is basically it for this review on the Marvel's Ragnarok. Honestly, I don't got much else to say than that I've already said because I was only planning on reviewing this figure, not because it was one that was really passionately excited about. It was one that I was passionately excited about, but then got majorly disappointed, and I wanted to share my opinion about why it disappointed me so much. Again, Hasbro had so much potential to use this figure to make so much new sculpting and molding, but I feel like they cheaped out way too much and just reused way too many parts and this guy should have really had a lot more new sculpted parts of mechanical detail and everything on him and it would have looked so much better especially with how the face and the hand are painted they look awesome and yet he really could have used more and again he does come with a lot of accessories i do like the spinning mule and the hammer and all that but maybe some lightning effects or just anything else would have been nice to throw in. If you're not going to give us new parts, would have liked maybe a couple more alternate hands and extra accessories. But no. Honestly, I would have taken just the hammer and no other alternate accessories if they at least kept him like this with more mechanical detail. But anyway, that is basically it for my review on the Marvel Legends Deluxe Ragnarok. Really disappointing. Would have really liked this figure have been a whole lot better. And this, yeah, honestly, 5 out of 10 seems pretty reasonable, at least for me personally. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video or didn't, let me know in the comments. And be sure to like, because apparently dislikes don't matter anymore. Except dislikes do affect my self-esteem. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel for more videos if you liked this. And, um, or if you want to see me do something better. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys hopefully next time. Hopefully.